cap allows people to bring in point clouds from various, I think it's about 15 different file formats, bring it into recap, and then save it as an RCP file. That turns out that RCP file now can go into AutoCAD, Map3D, Civil3D, Navisworks, InfraWorks, Revit, thank you. Just not uh, 3ds Max yet, but there is then a, an RCP file of a kitchen, which is a point cloud then, brought into uh, the InfraWorks environment, right? So it's able to handle those literally hundreds of thousands, millions of points and introduce it into go back to that. And if you don't have a laser scanner, there is a portion of the recap technology that leverages photos. So we've done it and we can show you offline if you'd like, but uh, you can take a series of pictures with your SLR camera, upload those images to the cloud, and it'll stitch it together just like you see there. Maybe not with the same precision, but you get the material as well as the mesh. And then that becomes your starting point. Here's uh, mm -hmm. did, you, did you do that at the gallery or at, at No, home? no, this is through the recap photo. Yeah. So there was uh, one, two, three, D catch, which is consumer level. You can buy it for your iPhone, your iPad, take a bunch of pictures of something. And in the cloud, it creates a model, right? That's consumer level for individuals and kids and things like that. Well, this is the professional version. So they, if, it, if this was a statue, right, you're an LV. Exactly. We can go out and take a bunch of pictures of it, and then we could bring it into yeah. the model. Had I made that trip, <laughs> I'd be able to do that. So, okay, so I'm going to close that. Um, I'm going to just briefly talk, let me, let me come back to my overall view here and talk about kind of extending the life of some of this information. I can take as much or as little of this as possible, and I'll try to make take not too much area just for the sake of speed. We're going to have, remember the export? On the export area, I said IMX to get stuff back into Civil 3D. FBX creates a solid of all of that. So if I wanted to create an, uh, some buildings and have that able to be available to me in Navisworks, I create it here create an FBX file and aggregate it with everything else that I was able to aggregate in Navisworks, right? But there's one more button down here just below that that makes life interesting. It says send to 3ds Max uh, things that I have selected, I don't have anything selected, or a region. So I'm going to choose a region and then just pick a region, pick and uh, double pick when I'm done. And what it does is it exports this out. Basically, if you notice there quickly, it says it created an FBX file. Export that out to FBX, launches 3ds Max design, and then loads that portion of the model, again, as much or as little as you want, loads that into 3ds Max design. And some people say, wait, time out, Angel. Okay, that's all well and good, but I don't know 3ds Max design. It's an icon on my desktop. Okay, simple things that you can learn today, I promise you, today, you can walk out and do this back in your office, and it's going to be meaningful to you. Okay. So two things. So it's loading up my model. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And if you look underneath those big icons in the upper left-hand corner, there are a lot of these workflow connecting data from one product to the other that he shows you one. But in each of the products, there's probably an option to push whatever you're looking at right there on the screen into okay. Showcase or 3ds Max or some other tool and have it come to life just like what he's going to show you. So I just, it was kind of all highlighted, so I picked off of it to unhighlight it. And there's, there's as the model that I had picked, right? Now, first thing, all the trees come in with these little things called helpers. So I don't like those little helpers, so I'm going to come over to this little display and say, turn off the helpers. Okay, that's the only little thing that I think is kind of in-depth about this. But let's say I wanted to create a nice view of the campus, either to share with someone or to, to create for our website or et cetera. So one. Move the wheel forward, I zoom in, move the wheel back, I zoom out. That's typical AutoCAD, right? Navisworks does similar. There's down here in the bottom corner, uh, second to last icon is orbit. So if I'm in orbit, it allows me to maneuver around this thing. So, okay, zooming in, orbit to where I want to be looking at. Maybe here, orbit around a little bit. Okay, maybe right there. And then I said there's commands that you can learn to, uh, make things easy. Right up here, there's the whole contextual uh, commands pertaining to dividing up the screen or having it look differently. Right now it says it's in shaded mode. 
If I drop that down, there's a section called stylized. And as that flies out, there's several options. One graphite. So if I wanted to look this view as if it was uh, drawn by hand with graphite or a series of pencils, I just choose that and wait a couple seconds. And then it looks like it was created uh, by pencil. Right? I can then capture the screen, trim out the, the stuff that I don't need. And we have something that I can send someone that was created literally, the, the site could be created in minutes, and you bring it here and make it look like it was graphite. Or maybe they wanted a, li a little bit more detail. Maybe they want it to be stylized uh, as if it was done in colored pencils, colored pencils versus black and white pencils. That didn't change too much. Or, come down here, stylized, colored inks, right? And you can see how simple it is to change the view down here to stylized and maybe as pastels, right? But I'm still in a 3D model. If I go back into the orbit command, oops, don't do that. If I go back into the orbit command, right, I'm, I'm orbiting, I'm zooming, I'm panning, I'm interacting with the exact same model just in this stylized view. So, I mean, how many people can do that? I, I would say everybody in this room could change the stylization to one of these other choices, right? And then, let's say I wanted to show that right now in this park, people gather or mingle or do things in this park. Now, there is a tab here called Populate. And this is a relatively new capability. I'm going to turn it off of this pastel for the moment just to get it back to realistic. I think I moved something there. Okay, so let's say I want to show that there's a group of people that hang out, hit it again, hang out in this park. Right? I can move something. Okay. Regardless. So on this populate tab, on this populate tab, coming right over here, it allows me to create either people that are walking or people that are just mingling in an area. There's two options. So I'm going to pick, uh, let's say, a round area and just pick right there. And, I, and it's elliptical or circular, whatever I want, as much as I want. And then just do that. And then I have control over here on this side, um, let's see here, the density of people. I can make a crowd, more crowded or less crowded, uh, whether there's more males or females in the mix, etc. And then I'm just going to say simulate, simulate. So I picked two buttons so far, press simulate, and then people are going to be brought into the scene. I'm going to click this little button right here, which removes the base that they're all kind of tied to. Right, that one right there. And then just press play. If we zoom in there enough, the zoom command, you see those people are actually <laughs> doing stuff. Yeah, a lot of Walking Dead fans in here, right? Some of them actually pick up something off the ground. There's a couple people on their cell phones. Uh, when I'm ready, I can pause that, of course, uh, create another orientation or another view that I that I wish to, sh to show. Something like this, maybe the buildings in the background, or the new building in the background. And get out of the uh, orbit and change my stylization. Change my style to be acrylics. And boom, I have a, I have a slide that I can create for someone. Super simple in a product that, I mean, how long would it have taken someone to draw this? Right? And you can change the perspective, of course, and 